get these patients to come to the clinic with limits in their hip. The hip is a really tough joint to treat. It's a deep socket with the ball surrounded by bone and cartilage. And as a consequence of that deep relationship, it makes it really difficult to glide that femoral head in the socket. So we've got to find other ways to encourage motion. We can do some traction. That works very nicely. But often the joint separates on its own with the traction and we don't get the stress to the capsule that we want. So another technique we might choose to use is curved gliding. I've got her positioned here for curved gliding in abduction. We, we've examined her, we found abduction limitations, now we're in a curved glider. So the way I do it, after belting her pelvis in a sideline position, I'm going to place my hand right cranial to the the greater trochanter, I'm going to bring her to her limit in abduction, and then at that position, I'll back off just slightly to reduce the stress to the end field. I'll cup the greater trochanter and direct my forearm in a ventral caudal medial direction. And now what I'm going to do is bring her into abduction to her end range while I scoop her femoral head in that direction my forearm. This allows me to glide the femoral head along the acetabulum as I bring her into abduction. And I can add more extension and more internal rotation to preposition the capsule further and now bring her into this position of abduction while I scoop. I'll give multiple oscillations and move her many times and then at the end I'll ask her to gently help me lift her leg towards the ceiling and relax and help me again and relax and help me again and then at the end I'll ask her to pull down towards the table and then back up again while I maintain that pressure and relax. This is a really nice simple Monday morning technique that allows me to access that joint very specifically and encourage movement in a joint that's really tough to get moving.